In this video, what I want to do is show you how I took information from the web, namely this published Obsidian Vault, how I used Claude on the web app, as well as Claude code to help me work through how I'm going to build this. And then finally looking at the final product, which was uh, this really impressive hub uh, of information that has links uh, and references to books that I'll be using throughout this course. Really impressed with the idea that Claude has done uh, all of this stuff within Obsidian. The really great thing is that this took about maybe an hour and a half, two hours for me to do. It was really quite impressive that I could go from something like this to something like this. Okay, so over the last um, like month or so, I've been looking at this website. Uh, it's really, really great. Uh, I don't know who this guy is, but he's got a really great uh, Obsidian Vault. And the plan, I mean, it's, it's just a basic uh, you know, breakdown of the different uh, units or the different um, lessons that he's got. But it's just really cool how he's got the objectives here, materials, uh, lessons that he's got. I was really impressed just by this. It was really, you know, organized website tags and whatever else. Uh, and I thought, oh, well, that's quite interesting how he's done that. And so essentially what I wanted to do was to take some of these ideas and start forming um, my own Obsidian Vault that I would publish for my students. Whereas this was basically, this is what we've done for this lesson and the chapters. I mean, this is a mass amount of detail. My first idea was simply just to get something onto a vault that was published that I could just basically give them information. So the first step that I did is I went into Claude and I just gave it a really simple instruction, uh, the link to the website that I just showed you, uh, and then just a really basic question. And I went through all this and I was really quite interested in what it said here about how to translate this into a music technology approach. So then that led me here on these different phases. Uh, so the phase one was this foundation step. The next one was going to be, you know, building this into uh, week by week and then finally publishing it and uh, enhancing the ideas. and etc cetera, etc cetera. and I was really interested in this as well this idea of this markdown so alongside this I've got uh, cloud code running in my terminal and again the way I approach this is is that this window here is um, linked to my my personal so I do this for like diary entry or whatever else uh, and then this window over here is linked to my professional so I've got now two different windows open and I can go back and forth and make notes or do whatever else but essentially what I wanted to do was this. Um, I gave it the instruction of, I, I'm gonna start a new project, it's gonna be quite big. Uh, I want you to walk me through this. And I basically prompted it to, um, to create this Obsidian Vault, that this is the things that I wanted it to actually do. Um, I gave it a website, which is here. So essentially, I've now got Claude Code, as well as Claude, working on this website, which I want to emulate so in the first instance, what Claude Code recommended is that we do is we start this foundation of building up this vault. And again, the purpose of this vault really at this stage was probably just to give my students um, like a reflection of what we did in that class in case they, they missed a lesson or something like that. So then I took this idea that, that Claude Code had and essentially I just copied it into here. And I asked um, Claude on the web, what you think about this? So essentially what I did is I copied the information from Claude Code, this information here, into Claude Code, and I just asked, so what do you think about this? And it gave me some really good feedback, but one of the things that I talked about was maybe a little bit ambitious. So in the next instance, I just let it know that I was using Claude Code, and after this, it really did take off. So now that I've got both Claude Code and Claude working together, I now want to create this Obsidian Vault. So I've just put it in here, and at the start, it was really just basic ideas. Notice how that these screenshots are screenshots of the actual um, website that I was looking at. And it was basically just things that I was quite interested in. So that now Claude Co can see these ideas. It sort of knew where I wanted to start, and this was the first thing that it created. So after opening up the folder in Obsidian Vault, it began to create uh, these, these markdown files for me. And as you can see, it's spot on with uh, the website. So as I was talking to Claude Code about this source being like a reflection, uh, it created this template for me, which uh, as far as I understand, what it's gonna do is it's gonna use this template uh, every time that I were to say that we did this in today's lesson, that it would use this template to form a new area in the 
Obsidian Vault. And overall, I like what it's got here. Uh, if I needed to, I could just simply uh, edit any one of these that I want. Right, so just as an example, um, I just gave it a really simple example of a lesson uh, that we did, and I made everything up, but I just wanted just to see how it would look. So this was basically me just talking to an AI uh, about what we did, and I made everything up uh, about how things worked and uh, any sort of um, problems that I might have faced or you know the next sessions or whatever else. And uh, yeah, I think I like this a lot. And as you can see here, th this was what I put into Cloud Code, just basic stuff that I just made up. And from this, it created this. So overall, I'm quite impressed about what it's done. Uh, it's got these links in here, these, t uh, these tags, and areas that I could uh, definitely develop more. So after this sample lesson plan, I was really quite impressed with what it could do. And I went back to the website and just went into a few more of these and basically just started taking screenshots and um, telling the AI, well, this is what I was quite impressed with. So the next thing that Cloud Code did is it recommended that we create a hub for these students which is this. So overall, I'm quite impressed with how Cloud Code did this. Um, it's got a lot of good ideas in here. It's got something that I could play around with. Um, as I mentioned earlier, that this was gonna be an area that I could have my, my lessons for and you know, a synopsis of what we did and such. I really like how it's made these little links in here um, coming up this year, uh, assessments, uh, resources, um, study guides. So basically all of these, um, links they're not really created yet and i'll have to create these but i can do that within cloud code i love this miss lesson it can check these daily lesson plans so yeah it's it's it it really has developed this and i'm quite happy with the way that this this looks So one thing that I noticed uh, about this hub um, is that it's got these links. And at first, when I clicked on one of these links, it just basically created a, uh, a new note uh, over here. Uh, so there was nothing in these links whatsoever. So what I did is I went down to this resource and as I have a CSV file of all the books that I've got, what I wanted Cloud Code to do was to go through those books and basically create a recommended books link for me. So this is the CSV file from my books. And as you can see, it's just a load of books that I've got. And after a few back and forth prompts that I gave it, it created this. So I like this a lot. Um, I like the idea that the students can just go in and see the books that I'm reading or particular guides, historical contexts, and it's done all of this without me having to prompt it at all. So yeah, overall quite interesting what it's done here. So just going back to the hub, uh, what you can see here is that if a student goes onto one of these links, um, it'll basically yeah, link them into this recommended book thing here. And then they can just recommend that the students go from each one of these books. It's quite interesting how it's got this, uh, the, this student level here. Um, I don't know how it's got this. Uh, I'm gonna have to dive into that a little bit further, um, perhaps over the next few weeks. So yeah, just uh, reflecting on this, uh, this probably took about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half um, from the initial start. So for me, just going into this, into this, which has the hub, it's got the overview, it's got a template, the recommended book links. Um, so yeah, quite impressive with this. So one of the things that um, I've learned from this is using Claude, uh, the web app, um, as ideas, as things that you can play around with. Um, well, how does this work? How does that work? And then I'm using Claude code in my terminal to actually do the work for me. And basically what I can do is go back and forth with um, Claude code doing the work and then Claude on the web uh, messing around with any sort of suggestions and such. Personally, what I find is this to be a really good workflow.